Well, hello, long time no see. Lisa Davis here, licensed esthetician, professional makeup artist, and regional vice president with Arbonne. Today I'm gonna to talk about some quick eyeshadow um, brushes. I do a lot of makeup lessons during the week, and most people have what they need for their face, but they don't have what they need for their eyes because you need a little bit more detail there. I also find that people usually have one brush and they use the one brush for everything. And then most folks complain about their eyeshadow looking the same every time they put it on. It just looks really muddy. So if that's you, comment. <laughs> um, and funny, funny thing, uh, I've been seeing all these 10 year challenges where people are posting their old pictures versus their new pictures. And everybody's makeup, especially their eye makeup, looks just the same in both pictures. I'm like, okay, it's time for an update, right? Um, and so the beauty of our eyeshadow and the way it looks faded out and um, really has a lot to do with the tools that we use. Yes, technique is important, facing the lighting, but the tools are super important. So I'm gonna show you some essentials. Really, if I had to narrow it down to a couple of brushes, so the most essential two brushes are your puffy blender and your packing. So I'm gonna show you those two first. You always wanna start with your biggest brush and that's your big blender brush. We're actually just gonna use the tip of the brush. So we're only gonna pick up a little bit of product and today I'm just gonna show you really quickly with the marble palette. You can see that I use this a lot. It's my everyday go-to palette. I'm gonna mix the first two colors. The reason I like this palette is because it's unconfusing. It's super simple, four eyeshadow colors, a, bl a blush, a bronzer, and two lip gloss colors that are here, that aren't in here. I uh, gave it to somebody because they lost theirs. So I'm gonna dip in both of these two neutral colors and I'm gonna sweep it at the highest point of the eye. So the big blending brush is your swish, 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 windshield wiper, windshield wiper brush. And when we do this, we're up here on the hood and in the crease and we're sweeping that color on. Now, if I don't have a whole lot of time, it, this is the only step that I take every day, is just one color. And the reason is because I have primed my eyelid and it's ready for eyeshadow. So it kind of looks two-toned because I primed my eyelid with concealer. So we need a buffing brush. That's our sweeping brush, okay? Swish, 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 windshield wiper, windshield wiper, bringing it all the way in. So that's a sweeping brush. The other brush that's essential, so if you had to pick two, is your packing brush. Now, I know the equivalents by heart for all of the different companies, but now we're carrying these in the studio and you can purchase them online because when I sent people to buy them, I always was sending them to buy individual products and not a whole set because a lot of times, you probably experience this, you get a whole set of makeup brushes and you only end up using like four of them. So you really don't have to purchase large sets, I feel like, because you end up wasting a ton. Same thing with the large eyeshadow palettes. When you buy a large eyeshadow palette, you end up using two or three of the colors all the time. So it just kind of ends up being a waste of space. So same thing with um, your brushes. I recommend for eye brushes buying them individually. I, um, at the studio, I'll show you what they look like. They come in a set. You can buy them individually, but we have them as a set of five of your essentials and I did a lot of research to figure out, okay, which company has the best brushes and exactly what people need instead of a thousand brushes that nobody needs. So you need your big buffing and then you need your packing. Now your packing is for pushing color into the skin. So it's the first one we are sweeping, the second one we're gonna tap into the skin. So you might, one of my favorite hacks every day is to pick up a highlighter and this is just a drugstore brand highlighter. I'm gonna use my packing brush and I'm gonna tap a second color onto my eyelid right here. Now, packing style brushes put the color down stronger. So if I were to use, let me see if I can get closer to you guys so you can see it going on. This is just a And if I have time for two colors, this is what I do. I sweep one up here and then I pack a little bit of a light color on my eyelid. Can you guys see it, it going on okay? So there it is, it's a little highlighter. Really pretty, huh? The other reason that I use this brush, the packing style brush, is to pack on dark colors. So if you're doing a smoky eye and you wanna intensify the eyelid, you would use this brush with this, this color here. We're, and you would start here and then build in. Yeah, you can see it. Can you guys see 
the highlight here and then the little bit of the darker, sorry, I'll turn my head here, right? Okay, so we'll pick up a little bit because I don't want it to go on too, too dark because I haven't built up to the color. So hold on just a second. I'm gonna build my outer V and the, uh, the reason I call this a packing padding brush is because look at the motion I'm using when I use this brush. I'm tapping and pushing, tapping and pushing, tapping and pushing. And I'm slowly moving inward so that I just create like this little baby outer V. So basically I have lightest to darkest out on the outside here. So now you can see this is a really simple eyeshadow look. No eyeshadow here. And I have eyeshadow over here. Okay, so there we go. Um, also in the set is a step down blending brush. So you've got two blending brushes, one that's really big, and then you're stepping down with a little bit smaller. Then you have your packing, which we just talked about. Then we have two smudge brushes. Now I'm gonna show you how to use a smudge brush. This one is a little bit bigger smudge brush. This is kind of like a pencil style brush. So see how tiny it is? I'm gonna pick up that darkest color and I'm just gonna sweep a little bit of that darkest color into the crease by coming all the way in. Now, the smaller the brush, the more detailed the area that it can work in. So we could do something like that. Or if I'm doing a smoky eye, I will pick up one of the shades that I wanna do a smoky eye. So I'm gonna pick up the second shade. And I like this larger smudge brush to be able to really like buff out the color underneath the eye. So I'm gonna build up here. Okay. So now I've created just a little slight shadow underneath this eye. And that's something I saw in the 10 year challenge. It was so funny. Some, you know, one of my biggest mistakes I see people make is a blunt dark eye eyeliner underneath the eye. People still doing it. They still doing it. Stop it, people, stop it. Um, so smudge, smudge, smudge. And then the smallest smudge brush, which looks like this, it's really small. That's meant for smudging eyeliner underneath the eye, and I'm gonna use the darkest color. So as I'm moving to smaller brushes, I'm moving to darker colors. And I'm gonna get really close to the lash line and just smudge a little bit of that dark color underneath. And there we go, done. So eye that is very simple every day with the marble. And then of course a blank eye, which this would totally be fine. I rock this sometimes. Or I just take the biggest puffy brush and just, you know, put a little bit up here. But the two essentials just to review are puffy blending and a packing. Those are your two absolute have to have. Uh, stop using one brush for everything. Don't use the brush that comes with your eyeshadow palette. Use a puffy and a, um, and a packing, puffy packing. Remember, two Ps. Then if you have, you know, it in your capacity to move to some other brushes, which I hope you do, you stretch yourself. Um, you can move to the small smudge brushes. And then this brush is also a um, blender, but it's just a little bit tighter. And I like this one to use on other people because it's great for really working the color right here into the crease. Um, now the set is 50 and so you can just message us and we'll send you one if you live out of town. I just saw that question. Um, but you guys, again, notice how lightly I'm touching. It's just a swish, 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 windshield wiper, windshield wiper. The brush is barely touching, but it did the work. So here's the eye that's done. Here's the eye that's not done. I'll get as close as I possibly can. See the difference? Okay. All right. Um, what's the last thing I was going to tell you on this? Comes a little package. Crap. Oh, well, I forgot. Comes a little package so they all come together. Oh, I know what I was going to tell you. So you've heard me say this before but the three rules of eyeshadow so you move from biggest to smallest top of the eye down lightest to darkest okay so again that's biggest brushes to smallest lightest part of lightest eyeshadows okay to the darkest colors and moving from the top of the eye down so those are my three rules of eyeshadow all can be achieved with five brushes i like to get them as a set because then you have everything you need but if you are like, oh my gosh, I just need two brushes because I'm one of those girls I'm not gonna use anymore. Packy and puffy, packy and puffy, there you go. All right, I hope that helped you today and happy Monday. I'll see you guys next time.